Hi, it's Ellen with Aperio Philanthropy, and today I wanted to talk to you about some tips for hosting virtual parlor events. It's been a long time since we've seen our donors. With everything going on, how can we keep our mission front and center? One way is to take the traditional parlor event and make it virtual. A parlor meeting is a cultivation strategy used by savvy major gift programs, often during times of a campaign. It's an intimate gathering, usually hosted by a donor in their home for four to five couples and two to three representatives of an organization. Here's how to make a parlor event virtual. Step one, find a donor who is willing to host. The host is the most important part of the gathering. You should pick someone who is passionate about your mission, eager to introduce you to people and or help in new ways, and is already a donor. The last point is actually the most important part. A host can only be effective if they are already a donor. Don't be tempted to go with a host who talks about support without actually investing in your mission, no matter how many people they know. When I ask someone to host, I say, we're looking to bring together a small group of community members for a conversation about X, Y, Z. This won't be a fundraiser, just an opportunity for people to talk directly with an expert. You've mentioned that you wanna help us get the word out about our mission. Would you be willing to serve as host? As host, all you'll have to do is welcome everyone and say a few parting words at the end. Step two, find someone who can speak to your mission. Think about the experts, volunteers, and clients that you know. Who has an interesting story to tell? Who can interact comfortably with donors? After your host welcomes everyone, you'll want your featured speaker to talk for no more than 10 to 15 minutes. After that, the guests can ask questions and have a conversation. Be sure to pick a speaker who can speak in stories, not in facts. Have something interesting and inspiring to share about your mission in general or about a timely topic. And pick someone who can carry on a conversation naturally. Step three, invite your guests. If your host has friends or family they want to invite, let them do so first. Give them a deadline for getting those RSVPs that still leaves you plenty of time to invite other donors. Aim for no more than eight screens on your virtual meeting. Your host, your speaker, one person from your organization, and up to five individuals slash couples. Unlike special events, cultivation events are better the smaller that they are. A typical parlor event is a seated dinner around a single table. Try to recreate that intimacy. Step four, prepare. Work with your host and your speaker on their remarks. Make sure that they are authentic, but concise. Think about the rest of the experience. Maybe you get cocktails delivered to your guests. Maybe you mail them information packets in advance. Maybe you work in some sort of surprise element. The important thing is to think about how you can make it fun, but also engaging. Step five, don't ask for money due during the event do so in the follow-up. This is the trickiest step. Often when we host cultivation events, we want to prove that they are worth it by getting some dollars in the door immediately. The problem is, when we ask for money during the event, we often leave bigger gifts on the table. Instead, ask your host to close the event by saying, I feel so passionately about this cause. It has been a pleasure to support. I hope that each of you will take a meeting with, and then say the name of the representative of the organization, to continue the conversation that we had tonight. I know everyone here can play an important role in moving this work forward. You should follow, your follow-up after the event is hugely important. Don't drop the ball on these potential donors. Send thank you notes and ask for a virtual meeting. The measure of a good cultivation event is a follow-up one-on-one -on -one virtual meeting with every single individual slash couple that attended. From there, you can learn more about the donors and their passions, and that can pave a way to a meaningful gift to your mission. And those are my tips on hosting a virtual parlor event. We would love to hear more about your successful donor engagement strategies, parlor events or otherwise. Submit your story via video by visiting aperiophilanthropy.com backslash fearless. Thank you and have a great day.